Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial video series. Now we're going to talk about something that's, you know, uh, that's a common problem for a lot of, uh, you know, e-commerce owners, especially who have built their websites on using WooCommerce, right? WordPress and WooCommerce. So it's going to be a tutorial on uh, WordPress and WooCommerce. Okay. So uh, there's a lot of time I get this query that, you know, I want to edit the prices in bulk. Now you might have multiple products and it's hard to change prices individually for each opening it up and then going and changing it, right? You want an easier medium to be able to change the product prices or if you're setting something on a sale, right? For that also prob probably you want to schedule the sale, right? Probably for a Diwali offer and then also you want to bulk update the prices. In that case, this, this video is also applicable for you. So let's just go down and check how to do that. So guys, I am here inside of WordPress. So it's demo install. I'll just show you. So these are the products and you can see the prices so it's just random prices since it's just a demo install so uh okay coming back now what we first need to do is we actually need to you know if i had to do it manually how would i do have done it i would have to go into the products i would have gone to all products and from there i could have you know uh selected all and you know tried to perform the bulk action but i just have this option of editing right so if i click on edit and apply what it gives me is this area where I can open things, where, where the things get open, right? So where I can change stuff. Okay, this is the sale price, right? Like that, I can change stuff. Like this, I can keep on editing, quick edit, quick edit, quick edit is another way to just go ahead and change things over here, right? But still, it's still not the one that we, we, we need a more faster and a better option and that does exist. And for that, what you need to do is go to your plugins. You just go to plugins, go to add new. Now, once you go to the add new, you need to search for product editor okay now once you do that just go to the product editor it will load right uh, since it's on the local server it might take a little bit time over here but yes for you it will load and this is the product editor you can use this it's by dev hedgehog right so what you need to do is install and activate it okay now once it solves the purpose is solved you can uh, you know uh, uninstall it deactivate it or delete it but uh, for the timing you just install it and use it and you know uh, so let me just sh show you once you install and activate it what you need to do uh, once you do that you can go to your uh, you have two ways one, one is you can just go to uh, your plugins so let's just go to your plugins install plugins okay from the plugins you can see there's a product editor you can click on the product edit from here once you do that you will see it's redirected to me products to the product editor Right. So the other way was you just hover to products and from there you click on the product editor. Now over here, it's showing you this, how it's divided is this is, you know, this is the first part and this is the part that you want to make the changes to. And this part is listing everything. Okay. So it's listing everything, uh, for the convenience what I'm going to do is I'm just showing you, showing you the prices. So it's, these are the current prices that have been set. Okay. Now coming back, this is a table which showing me all the prices, right? All for all the products right it has one and two so since i've set it to 10 i can increase this i can increase this to 50 suppose then i click on search right once i click on search it's just going to reload and it will show me the 50 products that are listed together in one sheet right for me it's not that much it's just 13 products right if you have more you can list more okay now over here you have the option to select it via categories via tags via statuses right so uh, like status like pending or you know uh, auto published or like like the published ones or the pending ones right depending upon the product visibility if you have set any shipping classes upon that as well right so you have multiple options to select all the products so you can filter products from here depending upon your needs so since you have the tags and the categories as well and this was what the products must have and this is what the products like you don't have like you know uh should not have and in that case also you can select the category suppose i want a category that you know i'm in accessories and i want handbags but i don't want uh jewelry suppose right so like that it should not have jewelry i can select that okay this is just for your knowledge but for me i'm just showing you how to do it uh, for all right so for over here i want to set it for all the products now the first part is set i have the table for myself and i can see it listed over here now the point is what is it that i want to change now to change that first is price if you want to change the price you can select over here you will have this option of change to right then increase the price by a fixed amount decrease the price by a fixed amount or a percentage right or multiply existing price by a value 
right? So that means if it's 20 rupees, I want it to be multiplied by three, it gets 60 rupees like that, right? Or if I, it's currently 20 rupees, I want to change it to uh, 60 rupees. I just put in 60. So it's going to change it to 60, right? So like that, uh, increase, if I wanted to increase, what is the current amount? And I want to increase it by a certain limit that I can do, or I want to decrease it by a certain limit. That also something I can do. So this is applicable for sale prices as well as your normal prices both can be done as well as you have the option of changing the sale sale date as well sale date you can change sale end date you can change right so this is a great easy way to do stuff for me i'll just show you this one small thing rest is up to you just explore okay so what i want to do is i have these products in this products what i want is that you know uh, it's 3290 and like that i want these to have you know um instead of now i have an option over clicking here and putting the prices also like that but what if I wanted to put in 50% off on all my products because it's a sale that's coming up, right? Uh, so for, in that case, I don't even have to come over here and put in the prices. Although this is also fairly convenient, more convenient than, you know, changing it individually. But this is a faster way and faster ways. I just come over here. I'll put in, uh, suppose I want to decrease the price, right? Since it's on sale, I want to put it 50% off. So what I want to do is I want to decrease the existing sale price by a fixed percentage for me what is the percentage it's 50 percent right i want to decrease the price by 50 percent right now uh i if you want a rounding or not it's up to you because it's, suppose it's like you know 32.90 then how should it work should it round or not so for me it's like let it be without round okay so now i uh, go ahead and i have to select also so from here just select all the products and click on chain selected Okay, so the change did not happen because uh, if I see I what I'm um, trying to do is decrease existing sale price by a fixed, fixed amount. But over here, I don't have a sale price. That's why there's no decrease, right? So what I can do is I want to decrease it by the regular price. What is the regular price? I want to decrease that by 50%, right? So what I do is set the set to uh, regular price and, uh, you know, I need to decrease by a uh, fixed amount. So I want to decrease by 50%. And you can select into the products if they're zero, do not change their prices and select all these products. Click on chain selected. Now you see now all the products have a decreased price by 50%, right? So like this, you can do it and you can try and test it. And it's a great tool and it allows you to quickly change things. For me, I specifically targeted if you want to change in the sale price, you can do it for the regular prices. You can try and match up with things as per the categories and a lot of stuff, right? So I hope so this was helpful for you guys. And if yes, do, you know, kind of let me know in the comments. Also do like and subscribe. And I'll try my best to give you more of these content, right? So thank you for watching this video. And that's all for this video, guys. Oh.